Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut and welcome back... Okay, Arnulf is dead apparently. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. As I promised, today we're gonna do uh, one, maybe two more contracts. And we're gonna start off with In the Heart of the Woods. Seems like someone died over here. We've offended him, Sven. The woodland spirit seeks revenge. Oh, this here God. Is saying we've strayed from the old paths. Offended him? The monster's killed five already. He doesn't give a rat's arse about paths or tracks or me or you. He's a plowing beast from the plowing forest. Split his ribcage. A strong one, this spirit of yours. That's so. And who might you be? Um, I solve problems. <laughs> Geralt. I'm a witcher. A killer for hire. What do you seek here? Saw your notice. What notice? This village is home to decent folk only. You won't find any work here. Sure well, about that? Sven posted it. Did this? It's aggressive and incredibly strong. Oh god, that looks horrible. For a price. I it looks like, like a lesson's man. work. Play your trade, Witcher. I believe we will agree terms. Okay then. Who is this woodland spirit? Who or what is this woodland spirit? I'll tell you what, it's not any of your concern. Maybe you it's should leave. It's a common leave. beast. Murders any man who ventures into its territory. Exhaustive as descriptions go. What does this spirit look like? Anyone seen it for themselves? No man alive has. Great. Okay. Very helpful, all of you. But, well, judging from the way this guy was killed, it must be a lesson, probably. What did the other victims' bodies look like? Birds pecked apart his entrails. And here, tooth marks. A large dog. A wolf, maybe. This the way it always kills? Only cowards. True warriors. Men with the hearts of predators. The spirit grants them an honorable death. Will someone please take that charlatan away from me? You said the creature wants revenge. Why? For what? Our forefathers hunted with spear and knife. This pleased the woodland spirit. He let us live in peace. We never knew hunger. He killed back then too. He's always killed. How many lads died trying to become hunters? Now since our hunters died in the war, the beasts turned even more bloodthirsty. We are uncreat. What others buy with gold, we buy with our lifeblood. We are slaves to fear, spread by blind fools like you. These woods are ours. High time we put an end to this beast. And by we, you mean me. Probably. Okay then, enough. I've heard enough. You've got a monster problem, that's clear. Just not sure you want it solved. Oh, we do. Come see me. We'll figure us a fair price for the beast's head. Our little Sounds talk good. while I looked over the corpse? Not nearly enough. Need to look around, figure out what I'm up against. Be not rash, killer. It's not too late to bring back the old ways. I'll decide what to do. But start collecting coin, just in case. Okay. Examine the tracks in the woods using your witcher senses and find out what's killing the villagers of Fairland. Okay. There's something over here. The follow. Wonder where it leads. That doesn't look like normal footsteps. Not that a lesion is normal in any way. Uh, over there. Oh. Thin and deep cuts. Not unlike a razor. Okay. It sounded like a horrifying wolf howl. Ah, over here. Smashed bones. That takes strength. No point in trying to parry its blows. Oh, Show hi. me what you got. And then the white wolf is attacked by white wolves. These things pack a punch, jeez. Okay, white wolves. 
And their hides, thank you. Okay, so there's a guy smashed Oh god, smashed and impaled against the rocks here. Doesn't look good for me as well. Footsteps lead over here. There seems to be another white wolf over Damn here. You're ugly. Looks like the only one. Thank you. So let's see what we can find around this place. Oh. Never mind the giant claw marks. Sharpened its claws. Or just marked off its territory. A lesion. Male. Very old. Damn it. There we go. Probably marked one of the villagers. Learn more about the woodland spirit by reading the bestiary. There we go, lessons. Under uh, relics, probably? Yeah, relics. Woodland spirit. Some monsters are so powerful, local populaces begin worshipping them as gods. Such was the case with the lesson dwelling in the woods near the Skellige village of Fairland. The elders were absolutely convinced the monster watched over them by defending them from their enemies and training their hunters. The Witcher had his doubts, however. Lesions are mean, self-serving creatures, and the ancient one living in the woods near Fairland was surely no exception. Geralt knew freeing the villagers from their supposed protector's grasp would be no easy task, if he decided to even try. The lesion known as the Woodland Spirit was so powerful as to have mastered the art of marking. This meant the monster had inserted his essence into one of the residents of Fairland. That sounds dirty. As long as his unfortunate soul remained alive and near the settlement, the Leshen would always be reborn near its lair. Yet even with the marked one eliminated, killing the Leshen would be no easy task. The monster commanded the obedience of the denizens of the woods. It could thus call on wolves, or ravens or even the trees themselves for help. Luckily it had a weakness as well. It was vulnerable to fire, that born of the Igni sign in particular. Dimeridium Bomb, Relic Oil and Igni. So I'm gonna equip the Dimeridium Bombs already. There we go. Need to be careful though, because I think that blocks my own magic abilities as well. Yeah. Okay. Talk to Harald and talk to Sven. So some... One of these villagers is marked as a... Uh, well, the one binding itself to the lesion, causing it to resurrect whenever I try to kill it. So, uh, we have to take care of that one first. So let's talk to this Harald person Ow. first, okay. Didn't have many friends, did he? Folk aren't willing to look at this kind of death today, but in the past, I remember, I was just a lad. Lugos Herlip led a raid on our village, found nothing but silence and fog. I could barely make out my pa and my uncles, lying in wait behind the trees. I remember how they hunted down one warrior after another, and once they surrounded Herlip himself, well... I believe he'd rather have faced the woodland spirit. Your spirit is a very old lesion. He's dangerous, but I should be able to deal with him. Rid us of him, yet he's what made us invincible. Turned us into great warriors. I uh, know he didn't. Maybe I wasn't clear. The woodland spirit is a monster. Cut with a sword, he'll bleed and die. Like you, like me. He's much more. Thanks to him, the woods team with game, and our women bear strong babes. The power of the woodland spirit makes us the best hunters in the isles. True, not every lad who sets out to be a hunter survives the sacred ritual. But aren't witchers made at similar cost? True, but the boys that die in the witcher trials don't get impaled by uh, tree branches. 
Back by the tree, you said you know another way to stop the Leshen. We must return to the old path, restore the old ways, roam the woods with knife and spear, fight on even terms and prove our valor. That would please him. Our ancestors placed the Covenant Stone in the woods, laid sacrifices of prized game on it, and thus made a pact do as they did. Go south along the brook, submit to the trial by burning a sacrifice of wolves' hearts on the sacred spot. Um... So we have an option here. I'll try it your way or better to just kill the Leshen. Hmm. I'll talk to Sven first. Haven't decided what to do yet. Try to kill the woodland spirit and you'll bring his wrath upon us all? Hmm. I'll start with your method. That sounds Fine. better. I'll try it your way. But if it fails, I'll have to kill the beast. Wise choice. The spirit will subject you to trial. But you cannot succumb. Succeed in renewing the covenant, and I'll spare no gold in rewarding you. Okay. Um. <sighs> we need to place. A sacrifice of wolven hearts on the altar. That doesn't sound too difficult. It's cool that a simple Witcher contract gives me uh, two very distinct ways of dealing with the Leshen. Because they usually just go and kill the thing. God damn it, the sun is in my eyes! Okay, so this looks like the place. Oh god. Oh god, the gold, 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 the I am getting mauled. God damn it. So that's two. Okay, that was uh, a lot, so let's give me those hearts, that's five hearts, there we go, and now let's uh, try this I suppose, there's, what the hell is that, is that a dead pig, ah, okay, um, is this the alt, oh, this would be the altar, probably. Sploosh! Okay... Well, this is not weird at all. And um, what did that just prove? Um, so the ravens approved, apparently, for me burning those wolf hearts. Well, let's go talk to a Harold. Why is it turning dark? Never mind, I'll uh, talk to Harold and uh, 
Hopefully he can tell us a bit more. What the fuck is going on with the weather effects? Hello, Harold. The Leshen accepted my offering. I saw the smoke rise and crows dance in the sky. Everything will return to the old ways. You'll see in a few days. I've done my part. Expecting coin, eh? Don't fret. I've got your gold. Take it. You've earned every last bit. Okay. Thank you, I suppose. You really want to live in the shadow of a monster. You do know young boys will continue to die at the Covenant Stone trying to become hunters. The killing will never end. I've not paid you to lecture me. You've done your job. It's time you left. Well, well, Harold. Paying the Witcher behind our backs to sod off and let the monster live. We finished off the other elders. Just one left. Oh, gold. Yes, but another stage in the cycle. I embrace it. Be gone, Witcher. And you can keep your coin. Huh. Oh, God. This is a tough decision. Well, I've gone down the path of trying to keep the Lashen alive, so... Uh, I'm here to protect people, not to let them kill one another. Think murder will change something? You've done your part. Got your coin. What are you waiting for? No monsters left around here. I won't let you kill him. The Witcher first! Get him! Oh, God. So let's try and let them kill each other. There goes Sven. And there goes the last one. Well, the last one I couldn't do anything about, so let's slash this guy to pieces. And off with his head. Okay. So that uh, concludes that quest, I suppose. I'm sorry, everybody. Everything's fine. Your old man is still alive. I think. I don't really know where he went to, but... I'm guessing he's still alive. Oh. Um, well, apparently he died as well. I made a mistake. Well, um, sorry to hear about that, but I think I have time for one more contract. So, uh, let's see. The Lord of the Wood. So we just did the Woodland Spirit, and now we're going to do the Lord of the Wood. But that's uh, back in Valence. We'll see you guys there. This didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but, well, can't have it all my way, can I? So, at uh, Cunny of the Goose, I think this village is called. We need to talk to Brianne Hodge. Hello there. Ah, and he's the halfling over here. Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hodge. Breen. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. <laughs> That's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. Ooh, that sounds bad Except for business as well. Forest devil had attacked him. Okay then, gotta pay my price. Let's talk about my pay, because the current offer's just not enough. Well, since you're uh, a pretty wealthy man, I'm gonna start pretty high up as well. So let's start at 325. Mm, you're not cheap. Yes, I am not cheap. Well. 315, there we Let go. Let's say that's a price I'll pay willingly. Okay, I'll tend to it. I'll take the job. 
This logger. Where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him, Around. he was drinking away. Great. Hey. Said he had to honor his dead comrades. Okay. Find the woodcutter's hut and talk to the witnesses. They're probably around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's touching his junk. Welcome, traveler. Or cleaning Back his pipe. Me, you cocksucker. Fucking knock back a few so my mates are race peaceful. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Something plowed them up good. Well, I don't know what it was. Don't know who or what to curse. Talk to one Breen Hotch. Told me all about your comrade's death. No blicker. We tried to explain some horror was prowling the forest. He refused to believe it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be tracking that monster, so any info you can give me will be handy. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what he said. Good man, Breen. Though a halfling. <laughs> Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? We were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Magnus Rector hollered that he should run to the hut for the crossbows. So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plowing massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. Thanks. Gross. Really helpful that. Kill the bugger. Will you? Well, that's what we're hired for. So I'm gonna head to that uh, woodcutter's hut. Where Hutch is staying. Well, he's not staying there, is he? So, I'll see you guys at the hut in a minute. So, this seems to be the woodcutter's hut. Logger's hut. There's a marker even here. Logger's hut. Need to find the spot where they died. Well, he needed to run inside for the crossbow, so... What's this? Oh. Pin grape. Um... Oh, cartwheels. Cart tracks. Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Then they went down this road. Probably towards their clearing. Okay, so let's follow those. Well, there's something over there, at least. Sounds like Neckers. Well, it sounds like Neckers because it is Neckers. Let's take care of these boys. Yeah, we're always faster than Neckers, aren't we? There we go. Let's loot everything and then uh, we'll continue following these tracks. Okay. There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. What's this? There was a fight here. Two dwarves and Are those? something big. Roof marks? Looks like a fiend then. A dwarf went this way. Okay, maybe he's still alive. That uh, would be great for me, since he will be able to give me a description of the thing. Oh, never mind. Roots pinned this one to the ground. So hard he suffocated. Roots, again. So that sounds like another lesson, doesn't it? Um. What am I looking for? Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Yep, there he is. Deep wound on his back. Bled to death. Claw marks. Um. So they said there were three. So this is where they were attacked. So maybe the other one. Oh, for here. Claw marks on the wall. Oh, the rock must have been angry and strong. Everything says Leshen, a young one, must have arrived here recently. Need to find its totem. So from the old one to the young one. Should find some near the totem. 
Okay, Kernun. Novigrad, the greatest metropolis in the world, the acme of civilization, material proof, or so one is tempted to think of mankind's ability to tame and control nature. Yet right outside the city walls lies the Novigrad wilderness, and whoever sets foot in it soon finds out that man's primacy does not extend past the city walls. One of the monsters who made its lair in that thick tangle was an old powerful Leshen. I thought it was a young one. It killed any who strayed into its territory with its species species's characteristic cruelty, lacerating them with razor sharp claws, sending strangling plants shooting out of the ground or feeding them to a pack of hungry wolves. If not for its vulnerability to fire the Igni sign included and the protection of the Quen sign, one could wager not even the toughest witcher would be able to slay the beast. So relic oil again. So let's apply that. Well, reapply that immediately. Relict, relict, relict oil. There we go. Okay, so use your witcher senses to follow the sounds and find the Leshen's totem. So it looks like there's one oh, at no. this tree. The Leshen's totem. Now, to destroy it, I'll piss it off, make it leave its lair. Okay. I think I pissed it off. Hello? Oh... God. Holy shit! Uh, hello. I like that silver. Well, he doesn't like fire. Burn, bitch! No, you won't, because you're dead. Goodbye. That does look horrifying. Holy shit. Am I glad I didn't have to fight two of these? Fire, timber, flesh and resin, mutagen, black unicorn, and the trophy. Didn't have to chop that one's head off, so I'm gonna head back to Breen Hodge and tell him that we've uh, slayed this one at least, and because we didn't slay the other one. So, see you guys back at Breen Hodge. Well, uh, this is a site. I'm back at the where we needed to be, but this this is a, a site. Well then, goodbye, Roach. Gonna head back into the inn here and uh, talk to Breen Hodge to tell him the good news. Hello again. Welcome, Master Witcher. Job's done. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh, that's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. That's true, but probably. Can I be certain? No other lesson will show. It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. Well, you Farewell. better. Thank you, Breen. And uh, that concludes the Lord of the Woods. So, uh, by accident, I didn't really mean to do this. We went from uh, one... <laughs> God damn it, Roach. One lesson to the other. So uh, I'm gonna stand myself right next to my uh, trusted companion over here. And uh, we leveled up. So let's upgrade the uh, protective coating uh, ability once more. And there we go. And we unlocked another slot here as well. I think I might as well go for uh, the arrow deflection. There we go. Because uh, that we can use that ability again. But looks good for now. And with that, um, Roach and I are going to say goodbye. So if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Well, if you want to, of course. I'm not going to force you to subscribe. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't. But uh, I would really appreciate it if you did. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye. Goodbye, Roach. Say goodbye.